So forgive me if you already know this, and, and if you do already know it, just watch another video, click on something else. But if you don't already know it, I just wanted to tell you that Microsoft have some great courses on all sorts of subjects to do with computer science and programming and development, and they're free. This isn't a sponsored video, it's just something that I've been looking at recently and I wanted to share with you because they look pretty good. Now, I haven't looked at all these courses, so I can't say for sure whether you're really going to like them, but I've had a quick look through some of them and I think they look pretty good. And, um, you know, for free courses, it's worth just taking that risk. So I'm just going to show you on the screen now what um, what there is available and because uh, I just wanted to share it with you. So if you go to um, Microsoft Learn, just do a search for Microsoft Learn. Uh, you could use Bing, why not, for a change. Uh, and then you'll come to this page. And when you come to this page, if you click here on uh, Learn on your own schedule and go down to Browse all learning options. Now there are loads of courses here and um, a lot of them are to do with obviously Microsoft products, uh, but not all of them. If we come to this page here, and especially if you're a beginner, I think these might be quite helpful for you. And, and you know, and you don't have to spend anything on uh, on trying and trying it out. So let's say you want to learn Python. All right. Okay. So come to this page and uh, click on Beginner here, and then on this bit, just go to uh, Visual Studio Code. Now I love Visual Studio Code. It's really good. It's my favourite uh, IDE. Uh, and okay, let's just have a look up here for Python. Uh huh. You can see I've done this before. All right. Now, if you search here, this is what comes up. So you've got um, set up your Python beginner development environment with Visual Studio Code. That is such a useful, uh, such a useful lesson to do that. And um, especially before you you go too far with Python, um, take your first steps with Python. Build real world applications with Python. Introduction to Python for space exploration. And you can see there's all these great courses. Uh, and if we now have a look at the intermediate ones, uh, other ones come up as well. And you know, we get a lot of sort of web development ones. So there's uh, get started with Django and there's more stuff with Django here. And, and Django is a really good uh, web development framework for, uh, for Python. And here you've got explore and analyze data with Python. I really think you'll like this and it's definitely worth you know, half an hour of your time to look through these. If you want to learn how to code, uh, I mean, even if you want to, you know, you're intermediate, and you want to take it further, but it's a really nice introduction and it doesn't cost you anything. So the links in the description, uh, take a look, let me know what you think.